conflict. I see a bro kick. Well, that was a change of events. So the WWE is all about surprises. Damn, saves the festival. Thank you. Settling events in WWE history last night at the Royal Rumble. We welcome you to Monday Night Raw. Startling and unsettling is right. I still can't believe what happened. It was a mere 24 hours ago when the former enforcer of the four horsemen, Arn Anderson, brutally attacked John Cena and helped Sheamus retain the World Heavyweight Championship. Well, Cena may be able to get another opportunity if he can qualify for the Elimination Chamber. The Elimination Chamber? Cool. Voices are not too low. If I turn them, I turn a lot of volumes down. What'd you say? Fella? Oh good. I'm guessing that was the entire raw for that day, for that week, I should say. Cutscene done. And it was fantastic. I didn't get to cut a promo after winning the championship back with Jerry the King Lawler welcoming you to Monday Night or anything we continue down the road to WrestleMania last week several spots were decided for the elimination chamber matches well even though it's Valentine's Day no love's gonna be shown tonight John Cena our truth and Alberto Del Rio have qualified for the world heavyweight championship chamber match and Big Show Kane and Dolph Ziggler have made it into the elimination chamber match for the WWE championship more spots are about to be filled. Who will make it to the Elimination Chamber? We'll learn more tonight. The Elimination Chamber. Both Mark Henry. But he was a good guy. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from Sylvie, Texas. Weight 418 pounds. He walked like a good guy. This is when he was like a good guy. A good guy. Yet they still boo him because they made him a bad guy in the game. They made the entrance before he turned bad, and then they made him bad because he was bad. Okay, why am I watching this? I'm gonna watch Mark Henry. Gross. It's so regal. Hey, Seamus! And Regal is so fucking sweating already. Sheamus is one half of the undisputed WWE Tag Team Champions, William Regal. I have to play as Regal now? Really? Okay. Fantastic. Poop. That's poop. I just got voiced out. This is dumb. Fuck you. I can't. I don't know how to reverse that shit. You know, normally I'd like Mark Henry's chances in this type of match, 
but Regal's come out with Sheamus. And that brings up an interesting situation. This Come here, Batty. Oh, he's coming out. Going back in. Son? Yeah, there we go. Good. There we go. Right into the corner. Yeah. Regal could totally pick up Mark Henry. Totally. What is this? Oh, well, the weird looking DDT type of neckbreaker thing. Yeah, I'll just spam this because it's like his best move. Nice. That guy signed draft me WWE. You don't look like you're fit for the WWE. Yeah. The 400 pounder gets taken out by a bitch slap. Fuck. Yeah, get up here, Sheamus. Help me out. How about your fellow Englishman? Oh fuck, I missed. Oh no, he's taunting, but... And he's still reversing me. Fantastic. Where are you going? Oh shit, that was what, glitchy. Oh, yeah, there we go. Shut up, Cole. Reverse. God damn it. There you go, right into the corner again, Henry. How do you do this? Oh, there we go. Oh, come on. What do you want? What do you want? Oh, fuck, I didn't do a running strike. God damn it. It's inverted neck breaker and bullshit. I'm trying to, like, do different moves, but, like... They're the same ones. That's the, they need to change it in WWE 13. They gotta like give better, bigger move sets to these people. There we go. They need more moves for each guy, and to not like copy moves for similar dudes. When you got like five people doing European uppercuts, and one of them's Triple H. You know you got a problem with your move sets.